guys, welcome to my today's video. My name is Simone and in today's video I'll be walking you through my process, if I can call it even that, of making my outfits for transmission. Now, Transmission is a trans music festival that's really big, not just here, but also in the whole world. And its hometown is right here in Prague, where I live. And that's great. Why? Well, because I don't have to travel anywhere and I get to spend my money on other expenses, such as fabrics, which I really do need more of them. Now, Transmission, as any other good festival, does come with a theme on its own every year. And this year, the theme was Another Dimension. So you basically know what I had to do, right? Because I'm so original and the only thing that came up in mind when it came to another dimension was basically alien, which is truly basic, I had to go with that. And without further ado, let's just jump right through the process. So step one is you want to design your idea. Now you can do it the traditional way, which is to sketch it, or you can just go the more unconventional way, which is to draw it in Illustrator, which I am doing because I don't really know how to sketch and it's so much of a big responsibility to take up right now that I would rather just let other stuff disappoint me in my life than my drawing skills. So I always choose Illustrator, but you can also just imagine it in your head. It's truly up to you and what your preferences are when it comes to this. And after that, once you have it all designed, there's another really important step, which is to completely change the design, just change your mind, do something different, which was what I did. And mind you, I already had two different designs before this, but I just got these little rhinestones in my mail and I knew I had to be dazzling and I had to make sure that everybody knew during transmission that I am the one who's truly out of this world or maybe out of her mind. But, you know, who knows? It's hard to tell. So moving on from the designing process is you should have your patterns ready. I make my patterns from locks. You can buy them, you can blah blah blah, you can just outtrace your old clothes. There were so many videos on YouTube about this topic, so go and do some research. But I'll just jump right to cutting it out. So after you're done cutting it out, which is really boring, you do have to put the rhinestones, or I did have to put the rhinestones on. And the way I did this was really, well, I didn't want to spend 8 euros on magic wand. Mm. Well, not magic, but right some wand. I didn't want to spend that money on that. So what I did was I thought I could be a cheapskate and just apply the rhinestones, put stubble on it, iron it, that's it. End of story. I did count to 10, but maybe it was only like 5 seconds. I'm really bad with patience, like my patience is patience of a child, really. So it didn't really work. Hmm. Well, what could I do more? I applied more pressure and as each time as it didn't work, I became a bit more passive aggressive with the rhinestones because those little bastards were doing as they were told. And then in the end, I just lost my patience and I just took off the towel and I just applied iron over directly to the mesh. And wouldn't you know it worked? In another dimension really, not in this one. In this one, I burnt a hole through it. So moving on from that, I had to light up a candle, I found all three resource, I sat down and I spent a few hours applying each rhinestone one by one and each rhinestone got special love that it deserves and attention, like it were the real deal even though they are. And after a few hours of that, I call it a day and I went to sleep. So the next day comes the construction process. This is actually, I think, the most Easiest part when it comes to this design and I went with wrap top, bottoms, long sleeve top and then also with mesh skirt with rhinestones. 
what you want to do or what I did, I begin always to begin with construction. So you have to know which side has to go or which seam has to go first. After you are done that, I went ahead to my cover stitch machine with my fold over elastic, which is, I mean, like Lycra and fold over elastics. These two things, they are like bread and butter. They complement each other so much. And I'm so thankful for fold over elastic because hemming clits is really hard. And this one technique is kind of easy if you master it. So I went ahead with that and this is just the combination that I did further. You just search, cover stitch, search, cover stitch. That's it. That's the whole science behind it. After I was done with that, you also want to make sure that every seams that they do match. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to do the seams before searching on my regular home sewing machine with a straight stitch. And I actually did another fail. I wanted to top stitch with cover stitch, but it doesn't really work like that. It's not so easy. You do have to have a piece of cloth in the feeder dogs if you want to cover stitch nicely the hem. So that's what I know now, but that's something I didn't know back then. So it didn't really work and it got stuck and I just, fuck it, I didn't do it at all. Moving on, I did a skirt with the rhinestones because I didn't really want to be naked that much. Really, here in Czech Republic or in Europe, you you know, the rapes, uh, people aren't just ready for them really like they are in the US, it's just coming here. So I wanted to cover my booty a bit. So that's why I chose this A-line mesh skirt. Now, what is an A-line skirt? Well, it's a skirt that has the shape of an A and the pattern is very easy and I just cut two pieces of that searched one seam then i move on to my cover stitch and i cover stitch both hems and then i also attached full over elastic Are the pictures of me and Nika. Now there's this one picture that got over a thousand likes on Instagram which is truly great because Instagram is what keeps my electricity on and it gets me to pay my bills of course and it's wonderful. I love Instagram. I mean who doesn't you know. I want to thank you for watching and I also want to tell you that if you like some of the pieces you are seeing right now or that you saw just right now I have an ongoing sale on my Etsy store, so be sure to check it out. There are also many other pieces that you might like. And without that, I want to thank you and I hope we'll see each other next time or maybe at some rave. Who knows? So, bye guys! <laughs>